guys. Merry Christmas. It's uh, Christmas Eve here. Uh, today I'm working on this this lawnmower here. This is the one I usually give to my buddies to ride. I'm sitting on the one that I usually ride. They're pretty much the same uh, with a few exceptions. Um, so today I'm going to show you how I made the gas pedal that's set up on this lawnmower. And I'm also going to walk you through building the same kind of setup for this lawnmower. So let's take a look at how this one's actually set up here. We'll open up the hood. So the pedal setup itself is actually pretty sim simple. There's a piece of pipe here with a 3 8 inside diameter. It's actually a squared pipe, but whatever. Uh, and then I have a 3 8 outside diameter dowel here. That's the pedal. So the pedal just pulls on a cable. It's got a return spring there. And it's also got these adjustable stops you see here. So this piece has got 6mm thread into it. And then there's two 6mm bolts with lock nuts. And that's, uh, so it's got a top stop and a bottom stop. And all that does is it pulls on a cable. That part's pretty simple. Anybody can sort of rig up something similar to that. But here's where it gets cool because I set this up so that you can use both the hand throttle on the dash and the foot pedal to override it. So the governor still works just like normal, but then you push the pedal and it overrides it. So, so down here we can see the throttle setup. Here's the other end of that cable, that gas pedal cable. So when you pull on the throttle, it pulls this cable in. Here, I'll, I'll show you. So it pulls that cable in. But then you see it also is allowed to, to go back. So when you set the throttle with the governor, which I'm going to do right now, this still moves freely. So the governor is still able to act just how it's supposed to, and this just kind of freewheels. But then when you hit the gas, it pulls it tight and gives it even more throttle. So I'll give you a demonstration here of how it all works. But you see how it all works. So let's try to build that on this other mower. Ground's a little bit squishy. Might have messed it up a little bit. <laughs> Whoops. So there's the mowers. And here's what I call behind the shed. There's so much worthless crap here. <laughs> I have a huge paddle boat that takes up a lot of space. Some Murray hood. Some ramps. Some uh, forerunner exhaust stuff. A whole pile of flat tires back there. Lawnmower tires don't hold air. Propane tank. Oh, and don't even. Oh man, I got so much stuff back here. It's ridiculous. Lawnmower transmission with, uh, I'm pretty sure this one's got a huge hole in it. Yep, big hole. You can see some leaf springs here, some Adelites. Uh, transmission cross member. Hey, this is a uh, spare tire carrier off the second gen 4 runner. There's even a go kart frame in here that I built when I was like 15 or so. You can see the shifter here. This is the shifter. It was just a forward back shifter, and what I need is this cable. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get this thing out of here. Alright, so let's have a look at uh, the materials I got here. Got some uh, 
half inch pipe, 16th inch wall, so it's 3 8 inside diameter. Some 3 8 round dowel, quarter inch square dowel, 8 by half inch strap, some uh, angle stuff from some old shelving, and this thing, uh, it's like quarter inch thick. Uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I just thought I might need it. And a bicycle brake cable. Got the housing there and the inner here. So that should be a good throttle cable, I think. And on the lawnmower itself, probably gonna put the gas pedal pivot same place I did on the other one. I'll just weld it right to the body there. And uh, yeah, it should work out all right. There we go. Got a nice little area there to weld to. I'll be able to put this pivot here and hold it down, I guess. So I cut out a little piece of dowel here. That's going to be the pivot. So I'm just going to hold it right there and tack it on, I guess. Okay, so we got that piece of uh, tube welded on there. You can see this dowel fits nice in there and it'll pivot good. Already shot some black paint on it so it shouldn't rust or anything. and. Ready to move on to the next step. So into the end of this dowel I've drilled and tapped a hole and tapped it out to some 5mm threads and you can see that this 5mm screw should just screw right in there and so this will keep that rod from uh, sliding out of that tube once it's all put together. So to assemble it It'll slide the rod into the tube, then there's that thread there, and you'll just put that set screw in there, and that'll keep this from sliding out. And then on this end, there'll be a bend or a something, something that's uh, you know hard, you know it's mounted hard onto this, so it, it'll you know somehow it'll keep it from sliding that way. I don't know if it'll be cable mount or spring mount or whatever, but something will be there. Okay, so this is about where that dowel is going to be when it's all put together. I figure I want to start that bend for the pedal right about there. So I just mark that with a sharpie and now I'll heat it up and bend it. Okay, so we got that first bend put in. Now I just got to figure out where I want my second bend. And I think somewhere around there it would probably be okay. Oh, mark that. And Heat her up and bend her. Okay, so we got both bends in it there, and you can see it works nice. So now I just gotta let it cool down. I gotta chop it off at the right length. Then I gotta weld on the, uh, the supports for the spring mount and the stops and the cable mount or the cable attachment point, whatever you wanna call it. Alrighty, so I think right about there is a good spot to cut it. So mark it, cut it. Uh, safety glasses, of course. There it is. Gas pedal right there. Now we're looking over here at uh, the setup here on the mower. And let's see if I can route this cable in any sort of a good way. Okay, so now you can see that we got the throttle cable hooked up there, and that's going to work pretty much exactly the same as it does on the other mower. That's good. So there's a couple reasons why these Briggs & Stratton engines work so well with this setup. One is that there's already a hole drilled right there that's the perfect size for a cable to fit through. So don't even need to do anything, I just thread the cable in there, and uh, that's good. And then I have the barrel end of that cable on the other side. And then another thing that's perfect... <coughs> is that there's already a hole here in that bracket there for me to run my cable mount through. So I just get, and I already have a bolt that fits right in there, so I just need to make my cable mount or the cable stop or whatever you want to call it that holds the outer part of the cable and we're good. Alright, so here's that plate that I just made. It's got a somewhat larger hole on one end and a somewhat smaller hole on the other. 
So the large end is going to hold this, is where it's going to mount to that hole that's already in that governor bracket that I was talking about. And it's just going to bolt in there with this nut and bolt. And then the cable is going to pass through this side. The inner cable is going to pass through that hole, and the outer cable is going to get stopped by the bracket. But the whole thing is going to be allowed to slide through, just like on the other one. At the end of the cable, we're going to put the cable holder on. We'll just slide it all the way down until it's where it needs to be. Then we can get the nut in the bolt and tighten it down to where it needs to be. Okay, so we got that in there and now you see it moves nice and freely. So now I just need to grab the outer cable housing on and hook it up to the pedal. So there's the other end of that cable, the throttle cable. This is going to hook up to my pedal. So got the pedal here. Next thing I need to figure out is how to make some sort of a throttle stop to keep this pedal from uh, putting way too much pressure on that cable and ripping the cable off. So here's what I made. It's just that uh, quarter inch thick stuff. It's got a little bend in it. Drilled and tapped two uh, six millimeter threaded holes. And I imagine this will go right on here like about that. There will be your full throttle stop and it'll go back to your idle stop. And it's adjustable of course. Got two bolts there with some lock nuts. So I just need to figure out where I want this positioned roughly, and then I need to weld it on there. So, that'll be fun. Alright, so I got it positioned here. I think that's where I want it. So, just going to go ahead, tack it, and then weld it all the way around. Well, here she is, all cleaned up. I'd say that... Uh, it's probably stuck on there real good. I don't know what it is. Different kinds of steel weld better than others, but this stuff just welded real nice. I mean, it, it uh, I don't know, it just the weld went right in, penetrated good, it didn't undercut, didn't friggin' make a lot of slag or noise or anything like that. It just welded good. Or welded well. Technically, you're supposed to use an adverb there. Yeah, so this is still hot, so don't touch it. So we got another test fit here. Everything's sort of put together loosely, just finger tight. Got that bolt in the end, got these adjusters in and everything looks real good. So now we just need to hook up the uh, throttle cable to our throttle pedal. And then we'll be good to go. So here it is all welded up and assembled. So this is where I'm going to bolt the cable on, that top hole there. But I need a way to attach the cable to that hole. So I just took a, uh, I think it was a 1 16th, maybe a, maybe a little bit bigger, I don't know. And drill it right through. So you'll thread the cable through there and then you'll tighten this nut down on this bolt and it'll pinch that cable right in there. Just perfect. Here's my outer cable stop. Uh, I already put the cable holder thing on there. Anyway, I made that out of this piece of angle plate here. It already had the holes drilled in it so I didn't even have to drill any holes. I just cut off about an inch of it. And I've drilled a hole here in the body of the mower that it's going to mount to. So that's how this is all going to sit. And then that works like that. Uh, I need to figure out some sort of a return spring now. So I'm thinking I'm just going to drill a hole there for this. Um, should be able to just drill a hole right there, I'd say. And for this one, oh, right about there. Now everything is hooked up, but this cable's kind of long, so I'm just going to shorten this cable up a little bit. He's an idiot. Parents are probably idiots too. Lorraine, you ever have a kid like that? I'll disown you. Okay, so it's all put back together here. Uh, sorry for the darkness; it's a little bit late at night. Uh, but anyway. We're ready to give it a test drive. I haven't painted it yet. I just want to make sure everything is going well uh, before I get my fingers all sticky with paint. So everything's hooked up and adjusted. We're going to start her up and test her out.
Wow, that's great. Wow, that is great. It actually works perfect. That's amazing. <sighs> Full throttle right there. Idle right there. It's actually pretty easy to control. I think my other setup might have... I think it's got about the same amount of travel as the other mower. Maybe a little tiny bit less, but it feels just right when you're driving, so I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to throw a quick spray of uh, thick coat, <laughs> a quick coat of black paint on it, and I think we should be done.